There are few sights as horrifying as a train colliding with a car. But it happens every two and a half hours in the United States, and all too often the results are tragic. A 1,000-pound car is no match for a locomotive. So who would be brave and skilled enough to place himself on a collision course with a 1,000,000-pound freight train? Our own stunt coordinator, Joe Scorpin, is the only person who could conceive of a stunt this dangerous and is the only person brave enough to try it. So now Joe's going to step out from behind the I Dare You cameras and climb into the driver's seat. Here's how it should work. Joe will try to jump his Z28 Camaro through a gap in a speeding freight train. That gap will be created by a single 52-foot-long flatbed car placed in the middle of a row of solid steel boxcars. If Joe is one second too fast or too slow, he could slam head-on into one of those boxcars, and the results could be disastrous. We're waiting for the red flag to drop. Gilly is on the front of the train. Steve at the head of the ramp ready to give Joe. That's the signal Joe is looking for, the red flag dropping. Okay, Gilly's waving his flag. The train is 542 feet away and closing in fast. Joe has the green light, and there he goes. The train is moving. Here comes Scorpion. He is through! That is unbelievable! That is unbelievable. Joe Scorpin has done it. He somehow managed to jump his car through a narrow opening in a speeding train. An unprecedented stunt, and you saw it right here on I Dare You. His excited safety crew is racing to pull him out of his car. He's got to be thrilled, but it couldn't have gone any better. Here's another look. Train is moving. Here comes Scorpin. He is through. That is unbelievable. Here's how it looked when he hit that ramp at 50 miles an hour and sailed through the narrow opening in that speeding freight train. Check out the perfect time. Here it is from another angle. Joe couldn't have made a more perfect approach. He races down the straightaway in 14.7 seconds, and now he hits the ramp precisely at the right moment to clear the boxcar and fly over the flatbed through that enormous blast of fire. That was a one million pound freight train Joe was facing down, and only Joe Scorpin, the stuntman stuntman, had the nerve to take it on. It's another history-making moment right here on I Dare You, The Ultimate Challenge.